So here we go. It's one versus two. Should be a ripper game, this one. Jarman off the ground, high towards centre wing. No one at home, however. And the mark taken by Craig Scholl. Swings north into attack. They're kicking to the right of screen. High up towards the half forward line. Here's the man they've got to stop. She's Wayne Carey. Player, Sandy, isn't he? Terrific player. Directly in front. Well, we saw Dermot Brereton only 35 seconds ago. He was the number one centre-half forward in the competition, but this man has taken over that mantle. What a great player he is turning, into, turning out to be. They call him the duck. Will these conditions suit him tonight? 40 metres, directly in front. He sets North Melbourne alight in the opening minute. Just the start that North Melbourne were after. And it is Chris Langford that is manning him up. So it's going to be a big challenge for him to fight back after Carey got away to such a good start. Craig Scholl bombing the ball down long. Have a look over the back. Takes a chest mark. He was up that high above the rest of the population down there. He could afford to go without the outstretched hands. So North Melbourne, one goal. Hawthorne yet to score. Very important centre breaks. First one going to North Melbourne. Big is Jinko. They'll get it away again. The kick forward towards half forward. Is that a mark? Romero. Good effort. The ball has got to be a little bit slippery, but he got his hands underneath it and scooped it in. His high kick towards full forward. Excellent mark in front of the puck taken by Jarman. Jarman away to Nugent. Nugent over the top. Cooper. Cooper's kick in short. Taken by Blakey. Blakey's kick in towards centre half forward. He's got it again, nearly had his hands on it. Taken away by Lawrence, punched forward. Here's a chance now for McAdam. He's well caught by Condon. Ball at half forward for North Melbourne. Ears gets it clear for Jarman. Where's Jarman playing? Looks as though he may be on in defence. Away to Cooper once again. Cooper from left half back, kicks high. Up towards the half forward area. Taken away by Laidley, who played very well last week against his old side, the West Coast. The kick now from Matthew Larkin in towards the uh, centre of the ground. Taken by Allison. Get rid of it, quick son. Brought to the ground by Pritchard. Umpire letting play go on, which is not bad. Taken by Collins, and the Hawks get out of trouble. See their defence under plenty of pressure early. Allen's caught. Loses it. Great tackle, Ross Smith. Oh. Shoal wanted to go on with it. Doesn't have to do anything else, Sandy's affected the tackle, which was perfect. It was vice-like. Into the half-forward spot. Belted away by Langford. Back towards the centre. The Hawks go forward towards centre wing through Allen. Up towards the left half-forward flank. Tony Hall is there, but overruns the football. A chance for Roberts. Does well on the left foot. Kicking into centre half-forward. Ashenko is playing his 100th game tonight, and we wish him well. Out to Jarman, who's had a good start. Jarman drifts it up towards Gowers. On the left half-forward flank, Hawthorne towards the 50-metre line for the first time tonight. And sliding over the line is Hudson. Plays on quickly. Dunstall will be his target. Belted away from him. Roberts again will clear from half-back. Has a look up towards centre wing. Up towards half-forward. Up towards Carey. Taps it wide towards the boundary line. Rock is there. Jarman grabs him. Illegally. Play on. Was that advantage to North? Maybe not. Platten is back in the brown and gold. Swings to the outer side, finds Ben Allen. Anthony Stevens has got the job on Johnny Platten. The kick towards half forward for Hawthorne, nearly the mark to Hudson. Kick back in towards the centre of the ground. Taken by Pritchard, Pritchard's short kick. And a mark there, good one in the finish, taken by Collins. Collins is wide of the centre. He's got a short pass on. It's a good kick, too. Excellent kick. Jarman, 50 metres from goal. Ordinary kick. In towards Dunstall. He gathers, hooks the kick, and yeah. puts it through for Hawthorne's first. One goal apiece. Yes, a good goal to Jason Dunstall. He had to make something out of nothing here because the kick... Coming from Jarman wasn't a great one. That's been one of his skills throughout his career. Turning on a thrupping bit and kicking them over the shoulder. What a good start to the game. A goal apiece here at the MCG. 
an exciting start. Platten down to half forward. Roberts chanced his arm. Couldn't take it. It ricochets away. Still in half forward. Ben Allen is there. Trying to flick it just up towards the 50 metre line. Hawthorne surging forward now. Nugent gets a short kick. It goes wide towards the boundary line and Gowers. He keeps it in play with a left foot snap down towards the forward pocket region. But sliding over the line is Ross Smith. Won't be many easy kicks got out there tonight, I don't think. No, not in this misty rain that is persisting. Crocker on Tony Hall. Lately on Hudson. Mark Roberts is on Gowers for the half-forward line for Hawthorne. Half-back line for North Melbourne. And speaking of Dean Laidley, he takes it over the line. And Darren Jarman is starting as a loose man in defence for Hawthorne coming onto the ball. He got away from Anthony Rock, who was his direct opponent earlier, to set up that last goal for Dunstall. Gars and Roberts. Hudson is there. Laidley there also. And German. Caught in the thick of things is uh, Peter German. Almost thrown out towards Platten in the boundary line. And eventually Nugent sees it over. He's had a couple of very good games. Glenn Nugent this year. Great possession winner in both. Flicked away from Roberts initially towards the goal. Laidley almost had a fresh air shot. Pressure now on Stevens gets it away. Longmire, the horse, goes to the outer side. Pritchard and Scholl. Yes, many believe that uh, Craig Scholl is a great wingman in the making, but often he's used in defence because he's so tall. But tall wingman at the MCG in good conditions is often an advantage, and don't be surprised to see him play there in the finals. Crawford. Now Crocker, can't control it, back goes Crawford, look at the rain falling very heavily, and away goes Stevens, one of the unsung heroes so far for North Melbourne. Up towards half forward, Archer fights for it, but Hawthorne may get clear, Langford under pressure, now here's a chance for Baxter, caught by Archer, ball spills free, now's a chance for North Melbourne, no, it's Jinko, Plattenhell didn't have it, and that's the way the umpire sees it, Johnny Platten. Gee, the Hawthorne fans love him in the brown and gold. He's been missing, but gee's a terrific little player. Kicks up over the centre. Won't be a high-scoring game in these conditions. It's tough for both sides. Pritchard had it and lost it. Platten goes through again. Had it and lost it. German takes it. Up towards the 50-metre line. Carey! Yes, on he goes! In towards full forward, across the face. And McAdam can't hold it as he slams into a policeman. One behind. Here's and Ray Jenke has the unenviable job of picking up McAdam. McAdam a little bit quiet last week. One of his few low gains for the year. He's been exciting and superb for the most of the season. On centre wing. Nugent setting it up once again with the Hawks through Condon. Back he goes to Nugent. Up towards Dunstall. Couldn't take the mark. Now the north defence. Oh, Longmire ran into a brick wall. Roberts goes over the top, uh, but over the line also. And so another throw. Still not bad there by John Longmire. Attacked it with... Uh, Certainly attacked it. A lot of ferocity. Boundary throw in left half forward for Hawthorne. It's probably a kick and a half from their goal. Shepherding, not much talking. Off the ground. Chance for Scholl, who's been very prominent. And a good kick too off the left foot. Gets excellent distance up to half forward. Ramiro and Collins. Collins in front of himself. Goes after it again. Carey. And it goes over and Andrew Collins slipping, but he's OK. Yes, and with Mark Roberts at centre half back, their regular centre half back, Ian Fairley, has lined up in an unusual move at full forward. Gary Ez is his opponent. So the coach for North Melbourne certainly isn't... Uh, backward and coming forward with some unusual and challenging moves good the ball handling by Crocker it was threatening here's Allison kick towards half forward Blakey dives on it and Darren Jarman appealing for a free kick well the definition of that rule is that if the player dives on it and drags it back in underneath he's certainly at risk of being penalized but uh, Surely the umpires have got to give those players a little bit of leeway tonight, Jared, with the conditions the way they are. Yes, but you wouldn't like to see uh, scrums and packs developing. would like to see the players knock the ball out at all times. North by a point at the moment. Allen goes towards centre wing. 
It bounces off the chest of Hall. This opens the door for Crocker, who spears in towards half forward, in towards Carey once again. Gets the hand pass away to Fairley. Left foot's round his body in towards the pocket. Jenky, nice yeah. use of the body. Too good for McAdam on that occasion. Raymond Jenky always oh, kicking into a danger area. It's on the outer side with Carey. Langford asks the question. Jarman keeps going. A high kick is by Baxter. Almost down to centre wing. Blakey picks it up. North go charging forward again towards half forward. Fairley will be the flyer. And he can't quite hold the mark. Very good attempt by Fairley. Rock to half forward. Collins makes good ground and takes a timely mark. Just points out how much ground that Allison's covering down there in the forward pocket for North Melbourne. He's playing on the wing at present on Nugent, who was very good for Hawthorne last week. Very tight at the moment. Oh, Cooper went without it. Condon keeps going. Through centre wing he goes. Up towards the 50 metre line. And a good mark is taken on right half forward by Shane Crawford. Gars is in the goal square. Saying, go long. But he elects to go shorter towards Dunstall. Platten is there, scouting the pack. Can't take it. Hudson there also. Got a touch, but that was all. Storming through with the high kick is Lawrence. In towards full forward. And ramming into the post. There's that North Melbourne defender. And one behind is the end result. Scores a level midway through the first quarter. Technically, the player hitting the post may have knocked the post that way. The ball goes through from behind. If he doesn't touch the post, may have come this side and been a goal. I think the interesting word there is technically. <laughs> in towards centre half back. Ischenko misses it. Is Nugent. Nugent away for Ben Allen. Ben Allen's little kick is OK for Darren Jarman. Already having an influence. Blakey's his sixth is a direct opponent. John Blakey is di Jarman's direct opponent there, Robert. North Melbourne defending grandly. It's Scholl again. He's had a few possessions. Good mark. Taken oh. in the centre of the ground by German. Oops, says Sandy, because he was nearly off. Romero into the pocket. McAdam, been a brilliant goal kicker, but this is a very ordinary performance, kicking it off the ground, basically, and it's out on the full, the free kick for Hawthorne. Now just have a look at North Melbourne's game plan. They've been disciplined this year in that they don't try to handball around corners or turn in U-turns, particularly on slippery days like today. They always concede ground, handball backwards to a player running in a direct line with their goals. Ramiro good. Ineffective hand pass. Platten in underneath. Yeah. They run into each other and Platten's being penalised. Who's the player in trouble? Tony, Tony Hall, Hall, is it? Got a headbutt from John Platten. Both players desperate for the football. And here we look on the replay. There's John Platten going down, as is Tony Ooh. Hall. Oh dear, that was reminiscent of Richard Osborne. In towards centre half forward for North Melbourne. McAdam. Shot for goal. Oh, just misses to the right hand side. Adrian McAdam gets his first score for the evening. Tony Hall up and appears to be okay. Barry Gavin out there as well. Let's hope he is all right. And the problem for Hawthorne, of course, is that he was mildly concussed last week and had to come off the ground. So any knocks around the head would uh, probably have a greater impact than normal. Here's Gary Ayres. Grand Hawthorne veteran bringing it back into play. Trying to get through was Allison, unsuccessful. Langford gets the hand pass away. High kick by Baxter up towards the half-back flank. Oh, Allen caught one high. Did he? No, said the umpire. I thought uh, he might have got one there. A free kick. Well, what, Wayne Carey comes over with the left hand. And without doubt, there was a free kick there. I think the umpire perhaps thought that Carey just made contact with the football. Stevens around his body. The half forward. Whistler sound at that time, and this time it's a north free kick. It's a lot easier paying free kicks with the hindsight of that replay though, Sandy, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is. Archer wants to go on with it. Does so. Allison in towards full forward. But once again, the Hawthorne defence standing strong. Courage by Jenky. Yeah, great mark under those circumstances. McAdam came in and used his body. I'm sure he would have got a freak anyway, a free kick anyway. Have a look at him, keeps his eyes on the football. And a good mark. Jenky. What's, what's short for free kick? A freak. <laughs> <laughs> there could have been one of those playing for Hawthorne today. There's a few the players out there. Yeah, up they go. Romero. Smothered. Don't adjust your sets. It is very, very misty here at the MCG. 
Jakey tries to go through, got a hand pass away. Allen could have been interfered with. Nugent keeps going, pumps it down towards half forward. It bounces off the chest of Smith, but he does have backup support. It's Laidley who takes it high. Over the centre he goes. Laidley's kicked towards half forward once again. Hawthorne standing firm. Jarman has made a most impressive start. Four kicks, four marks for Darren Jarman. He finds Nugent on centre wing. Nugent pumps it in towards full forward. And the mark has been taken by Tony Hall. Down only minutes ago. The former Glenelg player will have a shot and a shot to put Hawthorne in the lead. And Glenn Nugent, Nugent also making a particularly good start on the wing. Seven possessions. He's lined up on Brett Allison. This is one of the toughest players in AFL football. What a great goal. Bullseye. Hawthorne leads 2-1 to 1-2. And Brett Allison being taken from the ground, obviously because Glenn Nugent was dominating on that wing. He is being replaced now by Anthony Dwyer, who hasn't had a great deal of uh, match play this season. It's only his second game for the year. Good goal to Tony Hall, though, under difficult circumstances. Big Alex Ischenko goes after it. It's Blakey a chance. Kicks blindly, but gets good distance with the kick to half forward. Nearly the mark to Langford. Collins is there defending grandly. And away goes Langford, who backed him up very well. His kick is wide and probably not bad because Platten had two players there to contend with. And Langford puts it back into a 50-50 situation. Boundary throw in between wing and right half forward for the Hawks. Gowers to do the ruck work up against Roberts. Larkin. And it goes over for another throw in. Well, there's one of the success stories of the competition so far this year. Mark Roberts, who's been absolutely fantastic for North Melbourne, just looking at the marks. Hawthorne handling it pretty well, 19 to 6 so far in this first term. Ben Allen kicks across his left shoulder, in towards full forward. Ooh. Tony Hall nearly, ball spills, chance for Ross Smith. He kicks it back towards the wing, where the mark George, should have been taken by Cooper. A little handball. Now he goes Larkin. He's got plenty of time to size up the situation. Kicks it in towards half forward, no mark taken. Ball at the back, Langford and Carey still there. Langford a little kick in front of himself. Good shepherd there from Ayers. And in goes Nugent. Nugent to kick quickly. Ball spills. Opportunity for McAdam. Short kick, very good. Vision excellent. Rock goes for goal. No, he kicks it to the front of the square. Off the ground, fairly. It is out of bounds on the full. Well, you wouldn't believe it. It's missed everything. Well, he doesn't get too many opportunities down there, so perhaps he got a bit excited with the ball two metres from the uh, goal line. Maybe even a metre, but have a look at this. Well, the goal umpire certainly had no idea, but well done the bound round by to let him know it was out in the full. Hawthorne lead by five points. The German gets it away to Larkin, who's uh, given it away to the Hawks, however, with handball. They could get out of it, although it ricochets off Andy Collins. He's got to go and get it again. Now he's taken out of it. But... Well, the free kick is going the way of North Melbourne. It's interesting. You'd probably have to have another look at this because uh, McAdam, first of all, applied the shepherd. Well, here it is, Robbo. Take us through it. Well, I just looked at Collins playing the ball in front of himself, and then it was McAdam who applied the shepherd. And maybe he's a bit stiff, Andrew Collins, <laughs> to have a free kick given against him there because uh, he had eyes only for the football. And it could have been a play-on decision, perhaps the best one for it there. Well, Adrian McAdam needs 11 goals tonight to record the fastest 50 in AFL. That will not be one. It's about his third or fourth shot at goal early in the piece, though, Sandy. Yep. He's the start of this season, they were all going through. But tonight, he hasn't registered a major. 39 for the season. Gary Ayres again. Misty Rain is clearing. That will delight Don Scott on the boundary line. Ben Allen shows ferocity. Socket off the ground. Towards Allen again. He's been damaging early in this game. So Scholl rides the bump beautifully. Does well. Down towards Carey. Good use of the body. Was he held? The umpire said no. Play on. So Andy Collins does. Back towards centre wing. But back towards Scholl. Doesn't get a nice bounce. Hudson was held. 
Craig Shaw must have lost that ball in the, in the uh, lights because he was the only player near it. The kick that came out from Collins, and he could easily have taken a chest mark, so he must have lost that somewhere in the lights. Hawthorne, too, preparing uh, to make a change off the bench. Platten, 55 metres, the rat goes for goal and slams it into the base of the post. So it's Ray Jenke coming off the field. We believe he has got knee trouble. I'm sure Don Scott will uh, bring us up to date with his uh, medical expertise. Crow coming onto the ground. Only a youngster. He might get a touch now. He does. He belts it away, then pushes it clear, and is going to get a free kick. It was typical of Hawthorne, though, wasn't it? Crow ran straight onto the field, and rather than going for the big specky, came across with a Fist. very disciplined punch from behind. Scott Crow. Yes, I think those lights are causing a few problems for players there well that's just a good to Jose Romero is not at all happy and, and he did. he's in Devers are there and eventually cleared the ball of the pack and then the umpire blew the whistle well Condon has it and he goes for a little chip to Dunstall good effort pretty hard to stop those Robbo isn't it well that's where he's good isn't he you know I mean uh, percentage wise if you give him a little bit of space he's going to make you pay and this is where it all started well, now let's have a look. Was he holding it in? Was he making an attempt to get it out? He did. He did. Have a look at the Eventually. way Dunstall comes in low, gets his body down low, and takes a pretty good chest mark. In his previous life as a soccer player, he was a goalkeeper. Perhaps that's where he got that skill from. Just to qualify getting the ball out, the slippery ball's going to be hard to handle. It is. Dunstall, straight through the middle. Goal umpire does not move. 849 goals to Jason Dunstall. And the Hawkers open up a little gap. Well, we expected a pretty torrid tussle here. Both sides in reasonable form. Obviously, North Melbourne the better, having only had two losses for the season. They've had a habit of coming back. I don't think for one minute this won't be a top game all night. Well, it's just 11 points the difference. Hawthorne doing pretty well. Dunstall with two goals. Tony Hall with one. And Wayne Carey has kicked North Melbourne's only goal. Chance to get the ball clear. It will now come through Larkin. Larkin's kicked to full forward. And nearly a mark there to Fairley. Collins combining again with Langford. Oops. Handball. Cooper chopped off by Anthony Rock. Went for the torpedo punt kick. And fortuitously... It lands with Carey, and Jared has lost his boot. He certainly has. I hope he puts it on before he kicks, because that'll be the foot that uh, will be gripping the turf. And there's the kick from Rock. Didn't quite centre the ball. Still gets it away. And good thinking here from Carey, getting the boot on. Slippery circumstances. You want to get every purchase on the ground you can. Well, it's a pretty good effort in the finish because uh, he was able to hold his ground with just one boot. Well, how important is this player to North Melbourne? Is he the most important one-man player in a side? Well, I think over the years there's been no doubt that the, the top teams always have a very effective player at centre-half forward. You've got to have that guy there that gives you confidence to kick it up there and this man at least holds it in if he doesn't grab it. Shoots for goal and gets it. So two goals to Carey. And Jared has already mentioned that we're going to have a crackerjack game. It's five points the difference, Hawthorne's favour. And it is good weather for Ducks. Particularly after the start Carey's got so far. Good interception from Rock. Good pressure from his teammates. It was an ordinary kick from the Hawthorne player, allowing him to snip in and grab that football. Got the ball down quickly. And when the ball's delivered quickly into the forward line, it makes... Life particularly difficult for the Hawthorne backman. Back in the middle, five points the margin, favouring the Hawks. Alex Ashenko, 100 games. We'll be looking for a big one tonight. Platten, the rat gets it out of the centre. Goes to half forward and the mark is taken by Gowes. Wants to get it down as quickly as he possibly can. Dunstall will have to come over the top. Great work, Blakey. Blakey was the man in front. Laidley at the back. 
tidies up, goes right across the face of goal, but he finds Scholl. He's got nowhere to go, Scholl. No teammates, uh, teammates on the wing. Well, he goes long. Romero is at the back there and is forced to spoil. The Hawks have the numbers now. Hand pass is not good, goes towards German, but he's claimed as well. A kick out the back door, goes to Cooper. High to the right half forward flank for Hawthorne. Stevens to ground. Pritchard in solidly. And Crawford's away, but the whistle has sounded. Ray Jenke left the ground a short time ago. Don, what's your prognostication? Well, not being a medical man, Sandy, I'm in no position to uh, prognosticate, but what I can do is use a little bit of experience. He's having ice applied to his leg, and I would say that he won't be taking any further part because that's going to cool the muscle down, and, um, you know, I don't think it looks good for the Hawthorne side with Jenke out. Thank you, Don. Don Scott on the boundary line tonight. We've got to throw it in the left forward pocket. Hawthorne in attack. Belted towards Crawford. Left foot snap. Goes across the face. That's all. Look how quickly he recovers. But he's got to beat three. Shot it out the back door, but straight to Roberts. Who defends wide to the outer half-back flank. And it dribbles ever so slowly over the line. Five points the margin. Good tight contest in tough conditions. Rock gets a kick and then is uh, slung to the ground. Bit of soccer work, sees it down towards the centre wing. Cooper taken out of it, not before he gets it away to his teammate in Baxter. Now Condon trying to set something up for Pritchard, who's outside 50. A high kick in towards Dunstall. Oh, great mark. Jason Dunstall. Is tucked in the pocket. Well, Robert, do you, you think there was a push there? Oh, no, when you have another look, I guess it's good use of the body, but... Uh... Well, just getting back to your information about Anthony Condon, who, by the way, has had eight possessions and is having a pretty good quarter. He uh, has had three opponents to date, German, Romero and Rock, and with Stevens picking up the Rovers for Hawthorne, obviously North Melbourne are trying to run their runners through the ruck roving position. They're all having a turn on Condon, but he's getting away from the three of them. Dunstall for his 850th goal. Just goes across the face ever so slightly. How many points is that? 850 goals, how many points? 850, how many behinds in exactly. total? Yes. It doesn't matter. Ross Smith kicks the ball in for North Melbourne. In towards centre half back, no mark taken. Stevens gets his left foot to it. It goes blindly in towards the centre. Well blocked by Archer, but he scrambles after it, then applies a tackle on Baxter. But Baxter gets the ball to Pritchard. Pritchard's kicked towards the full forward area. Dunstall and Longmire. Dunstall unselfishly tries to position it for his teammate. Through goes Crocker. Crocker's kick into the centre. Here's a hard ball. Has to be got by North Melbourne. Hawthorne through Cooper. But back goes Anthony Dwyer, and eventually the kick goes to half forward. Carey, Archer, good, strong use of the body. Cooper, Cooper really standing up there because he was up against it, and he gets a couple of pats of acclamation. 5,100. Well Once done. That is. We must have got that abacus <laughs> eventually. 3-3 three, three oh, to 2-3. Oh. Up high was Lawrence. Punched on by Laidley. The ball towards half forward where Langford gets it out for Collins. Tackled there by German. Away goes Nugent. Nugent quickly. Down towards the wing. The race is on. Anthony Rock, was he held? Yes, yes. he was. Only just. And Anthony Condon gives the football away to Anthony Rock. So St. Anthony would be proud of those two boys this evening. If we lose anything, we just chase those two boys up. Rock. In towards centre half forward, looking now for Carey. Again, picked off by Archer. Now Cooper, and the siren sounds to end a very, very entertaining 25 minutes. Ischenko and Lawrence having a bit of a dust up. The Ukraine versus the South African. I think they're just discussing his 100 games. Early days yet. Carey comes in. It is quarter time, boys. Let's not and extend ourselves while well, we've got a bit of a break. 
There's uh, a lot more football to be played yet. Quarter time here at the MCG. Hawthorne with Dunstall booting to a 3-3-21, North a 2-3-15. They're in front. Dr. Scott on the boundary line. On your Donald. So into the second quarter. Who's going to win it out of the centre? It's Allen who kicks to half forward. Crocker couldn't take it cleanly. Jarman also went without it. Hurried kick kicked up high by Dwyer. Towards the 50 metre line once again it goes for North, but Collins is there. Tumbles it back to the centre. Jarman tries to spoil, but he can't. And a good mark taken by John Blakey. Important battle this one. As we know, Jarman only needs half a dozen kicks and he can destroy a side as he did in the State of Origin game for South Australia. Platten waiting down. Socket off the ground by Allen. He's looking to get it into the middle. Blakey is there and he'll probably get a free kick. John Blakey was a fantastic player, I reckon, Sandy, for Fitzroy, and he's got to be a great acquisition for North. Stevens kicks up towards full forward. Oh! oh! oh. You can't keep him out of it. He was off target in the first quarter, but now McAdam. And Carey not happy because he caught one in the back of the head, and I think he might be blaming Jenky, but I think it may have been his own man coming over the back that pushed him into it. There's McAdam. What a fly. Carey goes down. He's not all that happy with the uh, proceedings. Magnificent mark there from McAdam, though. So this to level the scores. Early in the second quarter, McAdam. Most exciting player has done exactly that. First goal to Adrian McAdam for the night. Jared, there's a few unsung heroes in this North Melbourne team, isn't there? Around that bat, that centre. Like players like Stevens, who we've heard from, heard about from Dennis Pagan. But uh, we'll even. Larkin is coming for a lot of criticism and he is a player that's just doing his job week in week out. Craig Scholl, a state of origin player, you never hear about him. Dwyer's come in and done quite well, but lately, and Crocker, Roberts, also players that you've never heard of, but uh, well, you've heard of them, but they're not stars by any means. You wouldn't any classify them as high profile. Well, here goes Glenn Nugent, who we've already mentioned has had a lot of the football. And the kick not bad. Ben Allen, 10 possessions he's had. And now Ben Allen, his kick in towards the forward pocket region. Laidley goes back and then bashes it over. With not a lot of aplomb, effective. But I've seen some of those be penalised. Dennis Pagan there looking on. Memory thrown in the left forward pocket for Hawthorne. Scores a level. Platten. Can't get through. Ross Smith does a reasonable job in making it difficult for Johnny Platten. So we'll have another throw in a, just a few metres closer than the previous one. Gowers doing the ruck work with Mark Roberts. Roberts trying to get the front posse. Just tries to get his left foot to it, but left hand to it. But Ross Smith eventually kicks it clear. No mark taken. Big Alex Eschenko is into the action. And knocking it over the boundary line in the finish was Nugent. So we'll have another throw in, but this time it's certainly over a kick from the Hawthorne goal. Nugent uh, just grimacing a little bit there in the hands of a trainer. Ischenko doing the ruck work. Jarman pinned, gets his foot to it. Hudson, a little flip, looking for the advantage of Condon. Now Ross Smith takes it over. So it's bottled up in that left forward pocket, left half forward flank region for Hawthorne. Let's have a look Here's what a... happened to Nugent. Well, I'm just waiting to find out, Sandy. Don't keep pointing. I couldn't see much there at all. But I was just looking at uh, Paul Hudson's statistics. Only three possessions to date. Dean Laidley doing quite a good job on him. And Hudson, who kicked seven goals last week in their win against St Kilda, is a, uh, a real match winner. And one that North Melbourne must keep quiet. Jarman plays on to the right half forward flank. Gars was the big fly. Couldn't take the mark. There'll be a bounce on the 50 metre line. Roberts standing his ground up against Gowers taken by Allen kicks into a vacant half forward area which way will it bounce effective for North why gets a hurried kick it's high doesn't gather a great deal of distance and Jarman waits underneath wants to play on quickly loves to keep it moving Ben Allen's 55 meters out Dunstall says there they are go for it 
right into the square. So he does with a long kick, spiralling in towards Dunstall. Couldn't take the mark off hands, it comes. And it's pushed over the line by Anthony Dwyer. He nearly had it, didn't he? He almost had it. Johnny Longmire doing well in the finish. Yep. It's great to see players of the calibre of Dunstall carry in action here at the MCG tonight. Hurry kick by German goes out to the halfback flank. Cooper takes the mark over. He'll send Hawthorne back into attack once more. Cooper towards half forward. Laidley trying to spoil from behind. Gets one, two, three belts at the football. German tries to go through like a tank. Doesn't succeed. It does block it. And in the finish, not bad. Could no. have nearly given a free kick away there to Johnny Platten, but uh, Johnny Platten not too happy with the umpire. There he is again. <laughs> One of the greatest Rovers that has played this game. And there's a chance for Crawford, but he left the football behind. He'll go after it again. In comes Dwyer, and the ball goes over for a boundary throw-in. Crawford there, the uh, young 18-year-old ex-Assumption College person. Uh, Ischenko doing the ruck work now with Lawrence. The ball to the back. Larkin gets it away for Roberts. Roberts kick into a vacant area on this centre wing, near side. Out comes Ayres. Doesn't do too badly either. Oh. No, chipped in was Carey. Bashes it into the centre of the ground. Rock overruns it, but beautifully handled by Fairley. Back to Rock, up towards full forward. He's got it again. There's a goal to North. <laughs> and the real advantage there of moving the football down the ground very, very quickly. Yes, that's what football's all about at the moment, trying to upset the defence, give your forwards an advantage. And here we see Rock will get on the end of this, this little handball. That's his tenth kick for the, for the evening. McAdam once again shows what class he's got, read the ball the best, out-positioned his opponent and kicked a good goal. Well, Hawthorne had it in their scoring zone for probably five minutes, couldn't do anything. North have whipped it down. And McKenna has kicked his second for the quarter. Back in the middle we go. 27 plays 21. Platten bursts out of the middle. Oh, he's run a cut through the run. Too far, Brad. Too far. Well, he actually handballed the ball to himself. Perhaps uh, under a little bit of pressure, he forgot that you had to bounce it. Did run about 45. Ian Fairley has come off the ground with, I believe, an injury. Allison has replaced him. Bad luck for Platt Crocker to half forward, a high kick. Langford is there in the pack. Carey taps it on to Ashenko, the 100 gamer. Back to his skipper. Carey goes for goal. He's away to the right. One behind. Four four plays three three. Raymond Jenkins bring it back into play. Collins will leave it for his skipper Gary Ayres. Couldn't take the mark, and Andy Collins sees it over the line. Now, Sandy North Melbourne were implementing a zone defence. Then and we have had a few letters at Channel Seven asking us not to use Americanisms, but uh, unfortunately, all the coaches and the players call it zone defence. But perhaps some of the listeners out there and viewers would be able to come up with another term. Scholl to half forward. Oh, here's a chance. A step in towards goal by Brett Allison. Yes! <laughs> Allison scores his first. Three quick goals to North. They kick clear. 5-4 to 3-3. Three, three. Well, there was nothing American about that goal to Brett Allison. Gets the ball quickly onto his right foot. A natural left footer. Good work from Scholl there to get the ball down. There was a pretty good snap, an instinctive snap at goal. I tell you what, they're an exciting young brigade, this North Melbourne side, and the way they're playing football right now, they'd be red-hot favourites, in my opinion, to win this premiership. I know it's early, but by gee, they're uh, working very, very well. 50 metre. As a team. Well, that 50 metre is obviously wide. The ball didn't get back. Well, I think he just handballed it straight up in the air. He's trying to just buy some time there but the umpires were pretty harsh on him well Probably obviously there, now uh, Ben Allen would be a chance to score he's about uh, 37 and a half meters 
from goal. 41 and a quarter, according to Sandy. As uh, he goes for goal now. Not a bad kick. It's a goal. Very, very importantly there for Hawthorne. They were able to answer quickly. And back to seven points, the margin for North Melbourne. And Alistair Clarkson onto the ground for his first run. As is Scott Crow, a second run for the afternoon. Shane Crawford coming off for the evening. Shane Crawford off. North Melbourne get it clear again, this time through Clarkson. He's kicked towards centre half forward. Taken by Rock. A quick left foot. High. Uh, oh, it's a mark. Taken by Dwyer. Well. The required distance would have been very, very close there. The ball went high in the air, but the umpire has awarded the mark to Anthony Dwyer. And Dwyer's run off the wing. He replaced Brett Allison, who was getting a hiding from Nugent. He's had quite a reasonable start. And However, it's not could a bad kick. Better that time. But just misses off to the left hand side. Anthony Dwyer as Raymond Jenke prepares to kick it back into play. Eight points, the margin. Collins is the target. Doesn't let his side down. Oh, he's put Gary Ayres under some pressure. Jarman comes in to help, and they'll get out of trouble. Condon's on centre wing. What could he set up towards Gars at half forward? Picks it up nicely on the half volley, but gives it away to Anthony Rock. Jarman claims him. Sits over for just a moment. Romero tries to get it out. He loses it. Nugent takes advantage of it for Hawthorne. Up towards centre half forward he goes. Tony Hall the flyer. Laidley at the back. Gets away from Dunstall. Dean Laidley to clear. Going wide to the outer side. He had to go wide because he had no one else to kick to. Can Hawthorne keep it in play? Cooper gets the hand pass away. North defence closing in now. They've got it, Ashenko gets the hand pass away. Up towards Archer it goes, on right half forward, but Archer sees it over the line. With Darren Baxter, and a throw in. And that's Andy indicated why North Melbourne has risen up the ladder. Hawthorne with three players to none out on that wing. Brett Allison made a beeline, sprinted over there. They got some extra players there, and all of a sudden they've turned over what was a pretty ordinary situation to them winning the football. Romero at the back got it away, but in the meantime the whistle had sounded. It's going to have to come back. How hot was the footy on this side of the ground oh. about two minutes ago? Gee, that was terrific. Unbelievable, was wasn't it? Romero from centre wing towards uh, half forward towards his skipper. Dwyer at the bottom does get the hand pass out. Larkin is there. Advantage is going to be paid. It was a free kick, but the advantage paid, and it's going to be a goal. Shepard. the North fans well, there it is Robbo well it's the ball obviously too far away before he started to affect the Shepherd well must, the must, be. must be yep play goes on it's on half back for Hawthorne Pritchard has it he goes with a high kick after taking the Lawrence hand pass towards centre wing Romero waiting down in front so to Condon he was tripped and he'll take a free on centre wing 10th possession, Tony Hall copped a hard knock in the first quarter when he ran into a teammate but he's recovered Dunstall slips, Longmire slips Hudson has been quiet his hand pass is close to the boundary line Roberts is there, he's caught and has no alternative throw in on the outer side. When Archer off for North Melbourne, Peter German, who had a quick spell there, two minutes, he's back onto the ground. The Roberts kick smothered. Crocker has a bit of time to go in and get it. It's to Stevens. Across half back. Scholl, soccer's off the ground. Well, the up he nearly got a position then. <laughs> uh, Scholl was held, according to the umpire, and he'll take a free kick at half back. Been a good battle between Scholl and Pritchard. Both getting a number of possessions for their respective clubs. High kick by Scholl to half forward. 
Excellent mark taken there by Ayres, but there's a free kick being paid, and it will be taken by Langford. Langford, short kick. Looking for Hall and Tony Hall in these conditions. Well, the ball is drying out a little bit now, but it certainly was a good effort. Tony Hall just forward of the centre of the ground. Short pass, OK, and the mark is taken by Hudson. The player on his own in the forward pocket, but oh. that kick is ordinary, and out comes Longmire. Longmire strong, and kicks it very, very well out towards the wing. Nearly a mark to Dwyer. Clarkson taps it on. Cooper's the Hawthorne player. German, Cooper and Clarkson. Ball spills for Baxter, but the umpire decides on a bounce. And gee, I wonder. Obviously, the whistle in his mouth, and he had to blow it. And North Melbourne have made an on-field change. Their number one stopper, Stevens, has gone on to Ben Allen, who's had 13 possessions. Matthew Larkin is now picking up John Platten. Jarman to half forward. Crocker couldn't take it cleanly. Coming across half back is Ross Smith. Back towards centre wing again. Fisted into the centre. Larkin to Stevens. Up towards the danger man McAdam, but this time Jenky in front. And he cools it down. Going short to Nugent in half back. North holding the aces at the moment. But still an exciting and very tight tussle. Lawrence lopes away. Goes long up towards half forward. Laidley, a defensive fist. Stevens waiting down. Tries to soccer it away. Does it again. Kicks to half forward, but again, the Hawks having the numbers. Cooper takes it. Well, he goes right across the face. Jenkins ambled down to half back. Goes towards Andy Collins. Oh. Great mark, shot. He's a player that's just got better and better over the last couple of years. And even last year when North was struggling, he was still playing good football. Well, he was best and fairest in, uh, for the club in 91. By a ball. This time, the North fans can cheer. Baxter has been penalised. And McAdam is right in front, but he is 55 out. Hudson has had a very quiet night, and he has been taken from the ground, presumably after that last kick. Never seems to get phased, Adrian McAdam, does he? No. Huh? Let's see what it... Well, he's going short here. Oh, it's come off. Alistair Clarkson just drifted down into that pocket it was a mark well I'm declaring it a mark I'm not sure what you thought Robbo well when you have a, a, another look at it he certainly controlled it the Hawthorne player arriving just a split second too late and usually they are paid young man from Caniva shoots for goal straight through the middle Parkson gets his first North steady 6-5 plays 4-3 Yes, I thought under those slippery conditions, we were calling for the standards to be just lowered that little bit. This one certainly qualifies, but the important thing there was, however, that Alistair Clarkson just drifted down from the wing and made himself available, and Hawthorne were caught asleeping. As Jinko tries to dispossess Platten, eventually the harassment worked. The ball's still there to be taken away, but uh, the umpire decides that he should officiate and a ball up will take place. North Melbourne having uh, tremendous influence in the ruck through Alex Ischenko. And not too much... Oh, Platten caught. Play goes on. He's been penalised. Oh, gee, they're red hot on that. If ever you see a bloke who I reckon is honest, it's that guy there. No wonder you're questioning it, Johnny. But he's been penalised for not moving the football on. Up towards half forward. Chance for Allison. Look at the pace. Short kick. Carey. Kick it off the ground. No, he can't. He's trying to keep it in. That could have come off a Hawthorne boot there. And Carey appealing for a holding decision. But Wayne, save your energy, son. There's plenty of footy left here tonight yet. Glenn Archer back onto the ground. Big Alex goes for it with Stephen Lawrence. Stevens into the action. Pritchard under Oops. pressure. Oh, Carey! He's got it! Three goals! Final stage of the game. The North fans are pretty happy because their side lead by 20 points. His archers back onto the ground because Hawthorne have brought Allen, Tim Allen onto the ground, a tall player. So they're a little bit undersized for him. A structural move as Gowers comes off for Hawthorne. 
and young Crawford goes back on. So they're trying to unsettle the North Melbourne back line by bringing on Biggs and taking off Smalls and vice versa. From the middle, Ashenko rips it away towards half forward. Jarman tries to belt it clear but can't do so. Some rough stuff going on in there and some illegal holding. Free kick will go Platten's way maybe after they uh, can disengage just a couple of players. German at the bottom with Condon. Platten. Kick drops short. Lately may get a first bite at the cherry. Nugent in hot pursuit. And a throw in to take place. Stevens has gone back on to Johnny Platten. Alastair Clarkson, another one of their noted taggers, is now picking up Allen for Hawthorne. Quarter, being ben Allen. quarter has belonged to North at the moment, although Rocks uh, popped over there. Hawthorne led by one goal at quarter time. They now trail by three goals too. They only kicked one goal so far in this second term. Yep, only had the ball in their 50 metre zone a couple of times. I remember that one where Longmire was bumped off by Dunstall, but there hasn't been too many other effective thrusts forward. Although uh, the quarter started with it uh, down in that zone, but they were unable to score. North playing in front, reaping the dividends. Alistair Clarkson plays on to Ross Smith. From half back, he goes in towards the centre. Larkin. Eyes only for the footy, he's still going. Jarman comes through strongly. Gains probably 25 metres, but it goes straight to Roberts. He pumps it up inside 50, up towards McAdam. Gave a nudge, Adrian, you gave a nudge. He well, knows he did. I think he can't believe it because of the uh, shepherding incident that was given against him earlier. Hawthorne need a score and need it badly. Baxter is across half back. Condon almost down to centre wing. Under seven minutes remaining in the first half. Blakey's hand pass goes towards the line. Matthew Larkin picks himself up out of the gutter. Actually, Condon's been a little quiet for about the last 10 minutes, hasn't he? Had eight, I think you said eight possessions. Eight early, he's now got 10. 11. 11. He's dropped out a little then. bit, as has Hawthorne. Jarman around his body towards uh, the right half forward flank. Smith controls it, then kicks it to Roberts off to Larkin. From a standing start, pumps it high towards uh, Big Alex Ashenko. Out the back it comes to German. Off the ground, inside 50, down to McCannum once again. Carey there also, who's at the back? Ayres, tidies up to Langford, they're under pressure, that Hawthorne defence. Cooper doesn't get a nice bounce. Who's going to be first to recover? It could be Hawthorne and Jarman. But look at that kick. Oh, bad bounce for Rock. Crow took his eye off the ball. Platten tries to clear it away. It comes out of the mud towards Hall on centre wing. Now Collins. Up towards half forward, making ground but unable to hold the mark was Crawford. And eventually seeing it over the line is Tim Allen. The incident in the centre where the North Melbourne player waited for the ball is just a terrific example of at least make an effort to get to the bounce of the ball, wasn't it? He was just left stranded when it bounced over his head. Condon on the other side. Goes towards half forward. Good again, effort. Good effort. Mark taken by Rock. At half back. Now into the centre, and Blakey takes a ripper. On he goes to his captain. 70 metres out. Now, what will McAdam do here? Ho oh, ho ho! He's going to pay it. Oh, boy. Did he hang on to that long enough? Oh, it'll be interesting to see. Flabber, flabbergasted. Let's have a look. Did he hold it? That wasn't a mark. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, Kerry was knocked over, we were told, from the boundary line. And perhaps it's been paid downfield because uh, it certainly was no mark. And there was no major remonstrating from Raymond Jenkins. So McAdam for his third for the quarter. Couple of steps, in he goes. Pops through a bar. So he's kicked two goals, three. 
Now, was this yes. why he got it? I reckon it must have been Sandy. Looking at those legs in the picture, I think they belong to Darren Jarman. 7-6 plays 4 three. I think that 21-point advantage North Melbourne have at the moment is quite vital. There's four minutes left in the second term, and the Hawks really need to kick... A couple. Well, at least one before half-time, but uh, there's no sign of it here as Larkin kicks in towards half-forward. Bit of misunderstanding. Stevens tackled by Platten, and a free kick. It is going to North Melbourne to be taken by Anthony Stevens. Well, Dennis Pagan sung this young man's praises continuously for at least a week before the State of Origin team was selected. And by geez, had a good season for the Kangaroos. He kicks from 50 metres. It drops in short. And a free kick. It's going to Hawthorne. There he is, I think. Steamrolled by a number of North Melbourne players. And he is the recipient of the free kick at fullback. 27 plays 48. LaRue's in charge. Close to half time. Nugent flicks it out in front. There's a bit of assistance from Condon. Crow belts it over the back for Tony Hall. Now they've got a chance to go into attack here. Playing in front was Archer. Playing in front of Tim Allen. And that's where he's made his name this year. In defence. Last week, of course, he kicked five goals, four in the first half in that magnificent game in the West Coast. But, uh, he's a shortish player that often gets a bigger opponent. Collins on centre wing. Again, down towards that left half forward flank area where Archer and Allen are. And it's over the line. Just looking at Glenn Archer, just 20 years of age, Sandy, and uh, this is his 20th game. He plays like a man season more than that, doesn't he? Yes. Shows great maturity. Pashenko uses the body nicely. Down to Rock. 15 kicks to Anthony Rock. What a fine first half he's had. There's nothing wrong with Kerry's half either. Up towards half forward. McAdam. Now he's got to beat a couple here, namely Collins and Jenky. Now uh, did that go out on the fall? Yes, it did. Came off a boot. So a little bit of respite for the Hawthorne defence. Andy Collins. 10 possessions. Uh, they've got to get it up the other end of the ground. They've That's really, really got to try it. The umpire there telling him to kick over the man on the mark, and he's in the back pocket. <laughs> time is running out. They've got to try and close the gap before half time. Platten gets the hand pass away to Condon on the other side. Towards Allen and Hall. Nicely taken off the pack. Now here's a chance for Dunstall. With him is Longmire. The horse and effective spoiler. Picked up by Allen, snapped towards goal, goes right across the face, and a throw in in the right forward pocket. Tim Allen, not to be confused with Ben. Tim, the former Saint. Ben Allen, best and fairest at the club a couple of years ago. Archer front spot. Tim Allen, left foot snap, and he's kicked one into the post. Just when they wanted a goal. Behind is the result. 4-4 plays 7-6. Just a minute left as Ross Smith kicks into the back pocket and the mark is taken by Anthony Rock. What a first half he's had. 16 kicks and one handball. The ball goes to the wing. It beats all players. Carey. Sneaky little hand pass for Allison. Can't control the football. In goes Ayres. But Allison has it now. And he could be penalised. I think Carey's and got a problem, has he? No, the ball will be bounced. We'll have a look at Wayne Carey as Brett Allison. He's just favouring his left leg a little bit, but uh, chance for Rock. Oh, terrific bump. Opens a path. North Melbourne get the ball to full forward. Where are their crumb gatherers? None forthcoming as Pritchard kicks the ball clear. And a high leap by Condon. He's caught. Handball goes nowhere in particular. Stevens gets it out. Carey. Now, underneath all that is German. He's caught by Langford. He forces the ball forward. OK, Collins will clear. There's the siren. What a terrific first half. A great struggle by these two teams. First and second on the ladder. And at half-time, North Melbourne lead by 20 points 
They've kicked 7-6 to Hawthorne's 4-4. Four, four. Up at centre half forward. So here we go, the second half at the MCG. Alex Ashenko winning it down towards a rock. It's a hurried kick towards uh, half forward. Ayers couldn't take it. German went through without it. Pushed over the 50 metre line, but straight to Collins. Wide. Gowers running with the ball towards the boundary line. Maybe quite happy to see it over. Beaten for pace in the end by Dean Laidley. Throw in on centre wing. He's lately did well, leaving his player coming over to uh, apply some pressure. Blakey has now gone back on the Jarman centre half back. Rock's kick is high, but it goes straight to Nugent. 12 possessions in the first half for Nugent. Kicks up towards half forward, nipping across in front is the youngster Glenn Archer. Off to Laidley. North go in towards the centre. Cooper was there, couldn't take it cleanly, but he's got plenty of help. Condon does it nicely. Hawthorne desperate for the first goal. Inside 50. Longmire. The horse gets it out. Hudson hasn't had a good night. Longmire in again. Maybe a free to Allen. Ben Allen. He's on 50. 13th kick coming up. He's been one of Hawthorne's few winners on the night. Started on Matthew Larkin. Plenty of possessions. Reasonably effective. From 50 metres. 52 he's kicking from. He goes across the face. In front. No mark is going to be paid. Longmire is there. Attempt to boot it clear is unsuccessful. And a bounce will be the result. John Blakey on the bottom of the pack two, Sandy, which, uh, gee whiz, how many times has it been a North Melbourne player that's been down there to hold it? Just looking up to the North Melbourne forward line, Brett Allison on Gary Ayres, looks like a mismatch in pace. Longmire tries to build it clear, as does Laidley. Now they're out of it through Stevens towards half-back. Dwyer has pace. Crawford there also, but over the line on the other side. As much as uh, it was important for Hawthorne to start this third quarter well, if North Melbourne can uh, withstand that challenge, well, that 20-point advantage could be uh, even added to. As Blakey sees the football over for another throw-in, it's about 20 metres closer to the Hawthorne goal. Those statistics don't read all that impressive, but... Uh, Defenders are there to make sure their forward doesn't kick goals. And that's what they're doing at the moment. Laidley, handball over the top. Looks for Longmire. It must sit for him. It does. And oh. he kicks wildly in the finish. He's kicked that one like a donkey, hasn't he? Not a horse. Well, it really wasn't necessary to uh, to try and kick it as far as he did. He was probably... It would have been better advantage to maybe just dribble along the boundary line. And he could have even run with the ball a little bit. Mates, teammates there around him. Well, I saw two fantastic goals kicked from this position last Saturday. One by Alan Jakovic and another by Rodney Grinter. So Ben Allen from 50 metres. Evening conditions, the football. Oh, there's an excellent opportunity there for Dunstall. Couldn't take the mark. Kicked out by Longmire. Bounces clear. Chance for German. Kicked by that player. A oh, brilliant gather by Carey. That was special. German, centre-half forward, Mark to Larkin. North Melbourne will make them pay here. Hawthorne, under pressure. Jinky, will clear. Composed. He kicks it into the centre of the ground. The mark taken by Condon. Anthony Condon, possession number 17. Kicks it wide where Gowers marks. He's on centre wing. No one really to kick to, so he goes in towards half-forward. Jarman marks it. Oh, Blakey held it and have it. And John Blakey will take the free kick. And Darren Jarman not happy at all. From half back. North out of trouble again. Belted into the centre. Larkin, heavily met, goes to ground. Ball spilling free. Rock may get a chance to run at this. He does. Over the top he goes. 
North away again from 50 through Allison. In towards goal, in towards McAdam. And over the top from behind. So Brett Allison, I would believe, will pose a bit of a problem for Hawthorne if they allow Gary Ayrston to remain on him. And he has to get the ball in his vicinity and he will out-sprint him every time. 14 effective scoring shots to eight. Cooper to half-back. Well-directed kick. Lawrence gets it away, but Hawthorne have got a score. That has been their problem. They've kicked just four goals for Hudson. Has had a night so far, he'd like to forget. Laidley steals it. Clarkson can't take it on the half volley, but he threw it out. No, he's, well, he was going to get a free kick, but the advantage is going to be paid to Blakey. Blakey goes long up towards half forward, but on this occasion, Carey caught behind. Langford takes it. 50 metres. Yeah. Well, it was an example of North Melbourne's game plan with Clarkson handballing the ball backwards once again to a teammate in Blakey. He was running in straight lines, and they're doing that well. They're playing the corridor well. But I'm sure Dennis Pagan won't be too impressed with his skipper giving away a 50-metre penalty. Yes, the only real semblance of undisciplined play so far in this North Melbourne performance. Russell Green's on his way out there now, the runner. In towards full forward and over the boundary line with Crawford. And guess who's coming off the ground, Sandy? Your statistic before the game... Dunstall kicking 20 goals in seven performances. Yes. He's kicked two so far. We're halfway through the... Well, not halfway through, but we're well into the second half of this game. Well, this is good coaching by Dennis Pagan. No favourites at North Melbourne. Off comes Wayne Carey, and he's on the phone, and we're getting a nice old burst there, I can assure you. Yep. Discipline. Hall round his body. Bending it back. They're desperate for a goal. They won't get it there. So, uh, Wayne Carey spelling on the bench. As we said, discipline. Leon Fairley, he's just about to have the shortest run off on the ground <laughs> of all time. Off your gum. <laughs> Let's get our number one gun onto the ground again. Pagan's made his point. He's had a word or two to say. Against North Melbourne. It went from Nugent back onto the North Melbourne player's foot. And it's out of bounds on the full. So Nugent will take the free kick in the left half forward area. A short kick. Oh, Dunstall, terrific performance. Gee whiz, he's crashed into the fence. He's OK. Cut his knee there a little bit, but uh, sliding and crashing. So Jason Dunstall has the football about 35 metres from goal. The angle, very tight. John Platten has just snuck back onto the ground. He started on interchange at half-time. Perhaps they're trying to break the tag. Dunstall kicks for his third goal, but more importantly for Hawthorne, oh. it's a goal for the team. A wonderful kick by Dunstall, and that's why he's one of the all-time great full forwards in Australian rules football. Boys Have a look at this slide into the fence. Was that second grab taken on the right side of the line? I wonder. Up to matter. Here's a marvellous shot at goal. Very tight angle. Robbo said one of the greats. Seven-seven plays five-five. Dunstall has three, and his last goal was his 850th career goal. Been Fine achievement for that, haven't you? I have. What a great record he's got. Laidley. Can North answer the challenge? It goes over the back. Collins will hope to tidy up. Finds a bit of room. The Hawks are on the run. Allen takes the hand pass. Up towards half forward. Oh. What a strong mark taken by Jarman. Boy, did he play on then, Sandy? I think he thought about it. He had a real good look at it. Wasn't a bad mark. It was a fantastic mark. Full of courage. Just pushes Blakey out of the way. What a great grab. Now he oh, is. yes. <laughs> in the hurly burly of the moment, you're allowed one or two steps sideways. Although Actually, these days, you're not even allowed to blink sometimes. I was just going to say, Jared, uh, he's had 13 possessions, but he really hasn't been the effective player that you'd expect. He's got to be near the goals. 40 metres out. Good looking kick. Oh, the Hawks have got another behind. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, no doubt, he is probably the best finisher in AFL football. You yeah. wouldn't expect him to miss too many of those. I you know how to lead us up the garden path, don't you? 
No, I didn't, I didn't expect him to miss it. And the viewers in the lounge room. <laughs> Well, oh, they could have had those two goals we were talking about, Robbo. Yep. Instead, uh, they've got 1-1. One, one. Importantly, they do look a far better combination since half-time. Kick in, comes to the near side, and the mark is taken by Gowers. And Gowers is probably a little too far out to score, but uh, I suppose if he could get onto a torpedo punt kick, anything could happen. He's going for the kick into the square, looking for Dunstall. Oh! Terrific effort. Well, there are not enough superlatives to describe the ability of Jason Dunstall. There's a good set up there too from Gowers. Feigned the long shot at goal, waited for the lead from Dunstall, and then he gave John Longmire a classic example of grabbing the ball with one grab in front under pressure. Perhaps one of John Longmire's weaknesses in his game. He cannot uh, often take the ball with one grab. Dunstall, you'd expect him to kick a goal, and that's exactly what he's done. Four goals for Jason Dunstall, and there's just seven points in this game. Yes, Lowell's almost riding Hawthorne off at half-time. I didn't think they'd have the firepower to get back. They've come out a new side since half-time. Gowers in particular, you saw him running directly at the football. Something they weren't doing in the first half. Perhaps they can carry on for a victory. Seven points the margin. The Hawks fighting back. Roberts into the middle in the ruck. And could have been held. Play goes on. The high kick by Schenko down towards the 50 metre line. North looking to answer. Carey's kick towards McAdam, but he's caught behind. Raymond Jenke. Around his body, somewhat dangerously. It could be costly. It could be very costly. McAdam gets the hand oh, pass right, away. Smother. Rock, but back to Rock again. And this time he kicks across the face. But what about the right Jenke smother? Is that the pressure from McAdam? And a couple of words from uh, Rock. Actually, Jinky hasn't done too bad. The cat of two good. goals, three. Looked as though he was going to cut him up, didn't he? Had a bit of a spell there on the bench with a uh, crook knee. Throw in. Right forward pocket. Ishenko. Kick partly smothered. McAdam. One behind. The post. Still a behind. Great call, Sandy. 7-8. Sometimes you've got to take a punt, Robbo. 2-4. <laughs> 2-4 <Two>, <laughs> to Adrian McAdam. Good tight game. Great to see these on a wet Friday night. German thought about going on with it. Now he does. Loose players across half forward. Larkin directly in front will have a shot. And those two players, Larkin and German, two of only four players that played in the last North Melbourne victory against Hawthorne way back August the 11th, 1984. The other of two, of course, Ross Smith and Ian Fairley. Kick by Larkin. Into the square. Who's waiting down? Rock is there. Can he get boot to ball? Still going. Oh, he bends it over his shoulder. Goes over the top. Carey's there. What can he do? The skipper onto the left foot. A snap across the face. Back to Rock. Ricochets off his chest and over the line. Good umpiring there. I thought there was a couple of ticky touchwoods that could have been given, but such a vital game that all free kicks should be earned. Anthony, Anthony Rock still building, 21 kicks and three handballs. You're going to rub that in, aren't you? <laughs> and he was a chance there to nearly kick a goal. Here's a chance. Carey, back for McAdam. And McAdam kicks a behind. Two goals, five to that man on screen, Adrian McAdam. And only, what, six months ago, he was playing football in Central Australia. Spotted by Greg Miller, Miller and now playing with North Melbourne and having a tremendous impact. Here go the Hawks, out of defence, Gary Ayres. He's kicked towards the wing. Nearly the mark to Crocker, but he's helped out by German. And Peter German kicks the ball to half forward, and it's a North Melbourne mark. Have a guess, little Anthony Rock, 50 metres from goal. He's going to bomb away. And look, it's a beautiful long kick to the goal square, but Jenky gets back and Mark safely on his chest. And the goal umpire gets a little dirty in the background. The kick goes in towards half-back, where Lawrence is marked. 
right on the 50 metre line. He plays on quickly. Kicks down towards the wing where Rock is there, but a good mark over the top is taken by young Scott Crow. Undone a little bit of his good work. And the ball taken over by the North Melbourne players for a boundary throw in. And Gary Ayres is coming off the ground. What looks to be a right shoulder problem. Lawrence doing the ruck work up against Ischenko. North Melbourne striving to get clear. It's uh, held in and Gary Ayres with that right shoulder very, very heavily strapped comes off onto the interchange bench. Tim Allen has replaced him. It looks like Glenn Archer coming off for Ian Fairley. North Melbourne. Larkin, Baxter. Goes past Mark Roberts. Condon leaves it for Ben Allen. Allen has a good look, but the kick is not all that good for the forwards. It's bashed away from Jarman by Blakey for the safety of the boundary line. Well, with the strapping we saw on Gary Ayres' shoulder, one would assume that uh, he went into this game with a problem in that area, probably the AC joint where the bandaging was. From the throw-in, Roberts a hurried kick. Tony Hall pushing the ball along in front, maintains possession, gets a kick, it's wide into the pocket goes over Darren Jarman's head for a throw. Best and fairest at prospect. Home of North Adelaide. 1990. North coming back in the hit out department in this third quarter. Obvious free kick there to Mark Roberts in that uh, ruck contest. We'll take it from the back pocket. Gives it off to Dean Laidley. Chips to set a half back. German will use the body. Well done. Off to Smith. North just run and run and run. Hawthorne had a chance then and they've lost it. Collins will regain it. He's a great fighter. Cooper wide. Hawks have got the numbers here. They've got a couple. Good work by Tony Hall to lay it off and then do the shepherding. Kick is wide. Pritchard has a look round. Not too happy with that, Pritchard. And he is no. struggling for a kick himself. Six and two at the moment. Don Scott has a report on Gary Ayres. Well, he's not too good. I don't think Gary will take his uh, any further part in this game, just having a word to the physio, the medical staff at Hawthorne. So that's a bad blow for Hawthorne. Well, he did say the same about Jenky, Don. We'll what? wait and see. Dwyer to half forward. Tim Allen tried to belt it clear but couldn't. Langford tidies up at the back. Hawthorne out of trouble once again. The hand pass across to Crow. Tim Allen is there also. Back to Crow again. Wide to the outer wing. North applying tremendous pressure. And a throw in. Well, when you've got a player loose, you really have to take the punt. And that's exactly what they do from around the centre of the ground and half back. They're prepared to leave because they've got great confidence in their players to help out and back up further down the field. Here's a chance for Young Crow. He gets onto his right foot, hooks the kick, and nearly a mark taken by Condon. Ball rebounds, Platten. Hand pass. Oh, Larkin dump. Stevens gets a handball wide as Jinko. Scholl just runs straight through. Has a good look upfield. Kicks it into a vacant half forward area. Out comes Tim Allen. Couldn't take the mark. Cooper combines with Langford. Allison good chasing. Down Umpire down. goes down. <laughs> but it's all happening here at the MCG. The ball on centre wing. Hawthorne trying to force it forward through Nugent. A little kick off the ground. Peter German. Down he goes. Cooper the tackler. Play goes on. Here's a chance for the Hawks. Nugent over the top. Hudson good taps man. it on. Well done. Pritchard. Shot for goal. It's a goal. Well, go for it, Jarrett. You pick the Hudson tap. Oh, it was a great uh, passage of play for Hawthorne. All hard work, and I thought young Glenn Nugent just kept working and barreling that football German, along. Paul German, Peter Benny German just went German, to the ground there, which allowed Al Nugent Turner, to come in. He was Adrian trying to draw lately, but Hudson did quite Lewis, well. Knew he had Pritchard Benny in board, German, tapped Al it there, Turner. and good finishing from Pritchard. Three points the margin in a thriller. Time ticking away in the third quarter. Lawrence trying to get it out of the middle. The big man can't do so. Rock is there. In fact, he's given away the free kick to the smaller player. Anthony Rock, 23rd kick. Will North provide the quick answer? 
Tim Allen is there with an effective belt away. Now tries to take it again. Gives it out. Hawthorne steady. Three goals and they're back in the fight. Pritchard marks on centre wing. Over the top he goes. Suddenly the Hawks are full of run. Baxter towards 50. Jarman. Darren Jarman goes long in towards goal. Maybe Shepard it through. Can he get boot the ball? No, he can't, and it's a behind. Good defensive work there from John Longmire. When the ball was coming along, Dunn still had the better position. He didn't allow himself to be bumped out of it and just came around the back, covered himself quite well. Plenty of wrestling going on, but that happens in most forward, forward uh, battles. Jarman. In goal. 70 metres out. Darren Jarman, long and low. Dunstall from behind, and he is behind. The horse is in front. Well, he's certainly taking this lesson fairly well. Great one-grab mark there from the horse. Blakey kicks back towards the middle. Now North looking to steady things down. But Condon irrepressible. Step passes to the 50-metre line. Baxter. Well, there's such a thing as momentum in football, and it's all going Hawthorne's way at the moment. Danger time now for North Melbourne. They haven't kicked a goal, Jared, in this third quarter and Hawthorne need this to regain the lead. Kick number five for Darren Baxter, the former Bulldog. Kicking from 52 metres. Going to be touch and go whether he makes the distance. Into the post. Into the post. Well, that probably makes it nearly square. I think they've both had two posters. Just to point the difference as Ross Smith prepares to kick back into play. Goes to the far side and gets well outside 50 metres. No mark taken. The ball there with Condon now for Lawrence. Lawrence off that left foot. Not a bad kick. Longmire and Dunstall. Ball goes to the back. Dunstall. Shepard for Platten. Now it's knocked over by Peter German. And I think it's been quite evident now why Dennis Pagan has elected to put Longmire into defence. He's one of the few players North Melbourne have that can match Dunstall for both strength and pace. And on that occasion, it was just pure strength that allowed him to keep Dunstall out. Clarkson's kick across his body. Tony Hall away for Nugent. Nugent, who's had a few possessions in this third quarter. Dunstall! Got it! Clean mark, yes. That's a great mark. Well, it's oh. been a great battle all night. Longmire has won as many one-on-one -on -one battles as Dunstall. Of course, Dunstall will finish with a bag full of goals and perhaps will look the winner, but at this stage, I'd say it's pretty even. Dunstall playing as a one-man forward line, all the rest up the ground, so he's going to have plenty of uh, opportunities. This could be his fifth goal out of eight. Appreciate that. I know what you're saying, that he has kicked the bag, but... I'm not sure there's any other players out there that are going to do a better job. And when you consider it's probably five goals out of perhaps 15 uh, competitions. He doesn't miss these. Five goals, one for Jason Dunstall. And Hawthorne are in front. He trailed by 20 points at half time. And they now lead by five points. Once again, Glenn Nugent involved. An unsung hero as Robbo calls him. He's going to make a name for himself. Archer onto the ground, Dwyer off. Hawthorne in front for the first time since quarter time. Three goals for the quarter now for Dunstall. 8-8, eight, eight, plays 7-9. A crucial five minutes in this game coming up now. German out of the middle, gets caught, but he does get a kick away. Down towards half forward, down towards Carey and Romero. Hawks have the numbers. Romero has the desperation. Up towards full forward. McAdam, yes! Somehow got to the front. Hawthorne have doubled their score. They were 4 4 at half time, and they're now 8 8. North Melbourne 7-6 have gone on to 7-9. Adrian McAdam kicked two goals in the second quarter. This to regain the lead. Oh, what a final quarter it's going to be. Directly in front, 40 metres out. He makes no mistake. North are back in front. 
the goal up by getting plenty of assistance there. We came to expect a crackerjack game here from these two sides, and that's exactly what we're getting. Ramiro was good here, Jared. Yes, got him for a hard ball, got it out. North Melbourne just burrowing that football forward. Finishes with McAdam. Strangely enough, Hawthorne have kicked most of the goals this quarter, and yet North Melbourne have won every centre bounce takeaway. Well, that's an interesting uh, statistic. At the beginning, their play off the half back line. The likes of Ray Jenke and Langford are getting the ball forward with Collins. Well, statistically, Hawthorne do lead the way. There's a chance for Lawrence to get the ball clear. Just a little kick to half forward. Jarman back for Platten. Platten oh. quickly. By gee, was dumped heavily. Opportunity now for Hawthorne through Hudson falling over. The ball goes out wide. Now Ben Allen. Gather is OK. Shrugs the tackle. He's kicking towards the pocket. Out comes Dunstall. Can't quite reach it. And John Longmire taps it over. Maybe not the right option there by Ben Allen, hooking it into the pocket. Well, he was looking for Dunstall. He was kicking it to space. They know each other's game so well that I'm sure that uh, they've worked out if I'm one out, just belt it into that pocket and I'll get there. Fair Only enough. A yard short. Laidley gets it out for North Melbourne. Out towards half Ooh. back. Oh, by gee, was that a test of bodies. And another one. Oh, oh Lawrence is in there. And the umpire quickly into the action. And boys, congratulations, because that was pretty fierce. What a bump with the German. Terrific followed stuff. up with another one. Umpires Gavin, Doran, Grant Vernon will have another look. One German and Lawrence. Ruck contest. Big Alex. Pritchard. In goes Archer. Condon down. German a chance. Still there. Archer's hard at the football. Pritchard's underneath all that. And the umpire will bounce again. And don't be surprised if he picks a free kick out of this contest. I reckon if I drop $2 there, I'd leave it. Yes, it's <laughs> pretty hard to uh, recover. Ooh. Ooh. This Condon and Archer having a bit of a dust up. Big Alex up high, can't take the football away, neither can Pritchard, Condon is caught. By gee, it's fierce, it really is. Pritchard underneath it, and again the umpire is forced to bounce. Well, one it's gets a tight struggle. One gets the feeling that Alan Joyce, Alan Joyce hasn't minced words at uh, half time because Hawthorne have come out a totally different combination. Looked a little bit uh, weak in the clinches there and a couple of occasions in the first half, but uh, they've made all the running since half time. Well, they've got a very proud record against this club to try and uphold they have a chance to go forward once again Dunstall comes out over the head of Pritchard Condon tries to get the hand pass going it's on the 50 meter line Scholl locks it up well done Craig Scholl because uh, it was a very important position at centre half forward Under a minute and a half remaining. Crocker belts it away and gains probably 20 metres. Nugent slung from the ball. North tackling has been superb. They'll get out of it here. Scholl drops it, but he gets another chance. Gets a high kick. Can someone take a mark? The 50 metre line it goes. Langford got a hand to it, but that was all. Allen's hand pass over the top for Baxter is a dangerous one. And it could be costly too. Scholl surges it forward. Finally a bounce under a minute remaining there's a point the difference Hudson off for Crawford for Hawthorne dirty day for Paul Hudson or not not a good bounce for big Alex Ashenko playing in his 100th game just noticing also the Hawthorne influence at North Melbourne Rodney Ede in the coaches box is a uh, member of their selection panel yes Russell Green's Rocket. their runner Russell Green their runner Stevens round his body in towards McAdam. I can't take the mark. And it looks as though the margin at three quarter time could well be two points. 8 10 plays 8 8. Russell Green also in charge of the North Melbourne fitness work. And there weren't any fitter players in the business than Russell Green when he was uh, playing in premierships for Hawthorne in the 80s. Well, he was telling us uh, they've done a test and he runs almost 20 kilometres a night for a game. It's three quarter time. Who's going to run out this game? We'll wait and see. North Melbourne leads 8-10.
58, but the Hawks have hit back hard. 8 8, 56. Here we go, final quarter. Two points, the margin. North will be looking to bounce back after Hawthorne had a big third quarter. Rock belted out of the middle. Baxter chases and chases hard. With him is Allison. Over the line. Jared, how much uh, part would luck play now with the closeness of the uh, scores? Well, I think uh, very little. The harder the sides work, the lucky they get. Crocker leading in the race for the ball, but he may run out of room. Except that ball is a funny shape, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well. <laughs> There's oh, a football in Australia that hasn't been uh, befuddled by the bounce. The crowd here tonight is a good one, and they've been treated to a rip roaring contest. Hawthorne leading by a goal at quarter time. Then North having a tremendous second quarter where they booted five and restricted Hawthorne to one. But then Hawthorne turned the tables in the third. It was four to one. Anybody's game. Nugent taken over the line by Stephen. He has a good look at the umpire, almost asking and pleading. And he gets it in the affirmative. 14th kick coming up for Nugent. More importantly for Hawthorne, it's down to their 50-metre line and over for a throw-in. No mark held. Charman in picture, 13 kicks tonight, nine marks. He's given them something at centre half forward, Sandy, where they were breaking down in that first half. And whilst he hasn't uh, put too many goals on the board, he has created a number with his creativity on that half forward line. Platten working hard as usual, found at the bottom of the pack. Coming back after a long spell, Hawthorne fans will be glad to see him back in the seniors, 10 possessions, and Brereton back in the reserves. Crocker tries to belt it wide. It's effective, but over the line. Still in Hawthorne's attacking zone. Overrun by the youngster in Crawford. A rock takes advantage of it. Goes in towards the centre. Carey was there, but he slides to the ground. He's on all fours, and Langford soccers it away from him. Back to Crawford. Crawford gives the hand pass out towards Allen. He's under pressure, still going on 50 metres for Hawthorne. And look at them lock that ball up. The tackling by both sides has been fierce. The free kick to Shoal at the bottom here, I reckon. Dead yep. right, Robert. Yeah, well, the fist went in. Off to Stevens. Poor kick. A loose possession. Oh, they won't lose possession, perhaps. Collins lost sight of it. I wonder if the lights are playing havoc. Crow, under pressure. Poor hand pass. Lawrence off the ground. Over the centre he goes. Laidley is there. Jarman, look at that. Combining beautifully with Platten. Platten pulls it round his body for Dunstall. He needs help. Gives it back to Jarman. Jarman, a lovely hand pass to Gowers. And Hawthorne goes. Just about to say, Jarman is going to be the critical player. He's goalless, absolutely goalless so far. But by gee, this is a danger man. Yes, we were speaking about creativity. We'll just have a look at that. Classic crow throw there to John Platten. Dunstall once again. There's no way he would have turned on a bit in these conditions. Smart play there from Jarman, who got the ball again after creating that move. And Gowers was a lucky one on the end of the handball to finish with the goal. So, play to recommence in the centre. They've been at each other all night. Big Stephen Lawrence and Alexis Jenko. Kicked by German. Chance now for Roberts. Handballs the ball in front of himself. Tries to kick it to his own advantage, but uh, in the finish, not all that spectacular, and the ball goes over for a boundary throw in. Well, now the uh, gauntlet has been thrown down at North Melbourne by the Hawthorne side. Hawthorne lead. Ischenko doing the ruck work. Ball with Nugent. Grabbed around the neck by Anthony Rock. And the umpire will award the Hawthorne player the free kick. Been a terrific worker, Glenn Nugent, with uh, 20 possessions now. His first few games for the Hawks, he knocked up getting the football. He's kicking towards the uh, centre wing region, Romero. Stevens misses it, an air shot. Romero again. Ooh. Chance for Jose. Dives on it. 
and they've dived on top of him, but no free kick forthcoming. And the umpire will bounce right near the point of the square in North Melbourne's attacking half. There's a North Melbourne player just behind the play there. I think it's uh, number 23 in Alistair Clarkson. We've got a bit of an arm injury, still holding it. Pritchard gets the ball from Crawford, but the mark nearly taken by Laidley. Big punch. Back goes Blakey. Blakey's kick. High towards half forward. Taken by Dwyer. Quite a talented young player. He's kicked towards full forward. McAdam and Jenky. The ball punched away. Under pressure. Here goes Cooper. Oh, they've got the players on this near side. Collins. Oh, oh he doesn't no. gather. Oh, dear. Great oh, dear. Right. He still gets the handball away. Baxter. They give away ground, but they should have been certainties. And Langford kicks it back near the wing. Still there. Cooper's caught. Down he goes with the football. Down goes Collins. And okay. eventually a free kick is picked out of it. And it's going to Collins. <laughs> North Melbourne supporters not happy. But certainly Andrew Collins was held and he didn't have the football. But that's what pressure football can do. Players that are unaccustomed to fumbling the football. Will all of a sudden get the jitters and down it goes. Unforced errors. Collins towards the centre wing. Shoulder spoiler from behind. Great smother by Gowers. Sets it up perhaps for Pritchard. It's socket out of his hands by his teammate. Down towards Jarman. Clever hand pass or will it be? No, Stevens intercepts. Rips it back towards centre wing but only as far as Condon. Condon has got a loose player in Hall at half forward. Tony Hall caught but gets a kick. But that last bit of pressure, that last tackle, pulling him off the ball. And it goes out of bounds on the full. It'll be the horse, John Longmire, to bring it back. Kicks towards half-back. Gows, the spoiler. Larkin, round his body, towards uh, centre wing. Collins, pushing the ball forward. Crow shows courage. Might just about get a free kick. As they pile on top of him. He is at the bottom there somewhere. Well, North Melbourne need a lift. And I think that they'd be asking Wayne Carey to stick his hand up. Just been a little bit quiet in the last 15 or 20 minutes of play. Four points the margin. Shoal Court gets a short kick, Larkin over the line. Been a grand contest. Lawrence, a mighty belt but straight to Crocker. Hurried kick, it's going to be okay. Dwyer marks. He's on centre wing. Well, he's going to head towards Carey territory now. Allen back back trying to take the mark, he couldn't. Roberts running for German. German shoots towards goal, but he pulls it. And behind. First score for Peter German tonight. Three points the margin. And Hawthorne, player in short, Nugent. He kicks quickly to the wing. Cooper's made good position. He's got a player in support, but he may go on with it himself. He does. And with that left foot, kicks up towards half forward. Tony Hall and Crocker. And Tony Hall recovers well. He kicks high in towards centre half forward. Marking contest. One player went for it. And that was the youngster Crow. And boy, is he an impressive young player. And he kicks in towards the forward pocket. And the mark is taken by Crawford. Well, Hawthorne doing nicely. Yes, young Scott Crow just looks like a balanced player. They've got big wraps on him at Hawthorne. They've been speaking his praises for many, many weeks now. He's finally made a senior debut. Quick thinking player to get that ball down to one of their other great youngsters. Critical kick. And Crawford dobs it. Hawthorne by 10 points. Oh, and Sandy Roberts is most excited, saying, I told you so. I tip this. Hawthorne by nine points. And it's not over yet. Good goal, though, to Shane Crawford under a fair bit of pressure. They're the ones that really set you apart as a player. When you can kick them when the sides is in trouble. Out of the middle, it's Platten sets Hawthorne alive. From 55 metres, a long kick in towards goal. 
but Longmire gets back away from Dunstall. Dunstall's not happy, and they're able to clear. Clarkson gets it away to Blakey. Blakey off to Smith. North Melbourne now have the pressure on them. They're the ones that have got to get it down to their forward zone, and they're the ones that have got to do the scoring. Tim Allen worked hard. Germans kick partly smothered. Down towards half forward. Hawthorne defence standing firm. Cooper. 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 Coming up for kick number 12. Collins. Jenky. Tim Allen's at half back. He's got a little bit of space. Goes over the top. The Hawks looking to start something. Langford should get a nice bounce. Chris Langford, known as a great defender, spears a beautiful pass to Jason Dunstall. And he marks 45 metres out, almost directly in front. Good rebound football from Hawthorne. Collins had a bit of a fumble down there in the full back line. But they've regrouped. And with a long spearing kick, Dunstall finishes with the ball. Langford just getting on top of Carey. Dunstall reached a milestone earlier with his 850th goal. He's missed on this occasion. Bad miss, directly in front, one behind. That is five goals, two. Brett Ellison coming off the ground. Glenn Archer to replace him. North Melbourne have kicked one goal five since half time. The kick in, good distance with the kick. Eschenko nearly. Chance for Clarkson, misses it. Condon, Crocker in the back. Well, I guess the question has to be asked now should John Longmire go to full forward, find another man to replace Dunstall? Crocker's kick high towards centre half forward. No mark taken. Brilliantly taken by Larkin. Up towards full forward. McCadam! Got in front and marked in front of Jenky. It was brilliant work. He's kicked three. Yes, and for the life of me, I thought Ray Jenky had this one. But rather than attacking the football, he was more concerned with where his man McAdam was. And that little backward step just allowed Adrian McAdam to sneak in front. Very he, important kick, Jared. Oh, he's a master at the body position, this player. For his inexperience at AFL level, he's oh. been a sensation. He hasn't had his kicking boot on. He's kicked 3-5. Oh, I think he's got this through. No, he hasn't. Oh, gee, it was an important kick by McAdam. Three goal six. And North trail by nine points. Well, you Lincoln. said it earlier, Robbo. He, was, uh, he hasn't got his kicking boot on. The story from North Melbourne is that uh, he was dobbing them into a rubbish bin from 30 metres there at the start of the season. Tim Allen, German. Tim Allen gets his left foot to it, but it goes back as far as Ross Smith. His kick will be marked by Anthony Dwyer. He's a chance. He's going to kick it into the square. North Melbourne will take a mark, and it's the captain. And you'd mention it, Jared. He's got to do something, and here it is. Oh, look at that fans out there. He just about burst the air out of the bladder the way he grabbed that. Well, he wasn't going to let the opportunity go by. And his fourth goal will make just one kick in it. He kicks it. Four goals to Carey. Five goals to Dunstall. And three goals to McAdam. And the only multiple two goal scorers for the evening. Yes, and this great game is going to go down to the wire. North Melbourne have made a habit of playing in some tight finishes. What a fantastic game it was last week. Look at the way he grabs that football on the point. Good example to all young players. Great finish. Three points the margin. The Hawks lead. North. Throwing down the challenge. Platten can't get it out of the middle. Neither can Ashenko. Stevens can. A high kick. North down towards Roberts. 40 metres out. Oh, they're not to be denied. It's a fantastic... I mean, it's a great example of not needing a lot of goals to be scored to have a terrific game of footy. No, this has been sensational. And they just keep on keeping on. No, only one way, and that's forward. Roberts to regain the lead. I think he has. North by a point. I think.
three points. We're all getting carried away. Well, Sandy, if you're hard at the ball, hard at the man, and go man on man all the time, there is no way a side can get on top of us. And that's a little quote from Glenn Archer from the paper this week. And you just get the feeling that this North Melbourne combination at the present time believe that they just can't be beaten. Well, it's certainly a terrific game of footy. We're halfway through the last quarter. We've got 12 minutes left, and it's still anyone's game. Stevens on top of Platten. And the umpire will bounce once again. Well, I saw a great game here about uh, eight years ago when John Kennedy was coaching North Melbourne. I think it was the first time they played against Hawthorne, and it was a draw. It was just a fantastic spectacle, and this has been almost its equivalent, if not better. Oh, well done by Stevens. Bashes it to centre half forward. Archer in trouble. It's got to be one. It is by Platten. Sure ball handling at Baxter. Away goes Gowers. Gowers to half forward. Marking contest. Kicked off the ground by Ben Allen. Ross Smith in trouble. Oh, he kicks it to Dunstall. Still there. Longmire in trouble. Tony Hall puts some pressure on. And Johnny Longmire does it well. He just persisted there and forced it over for a boundary throw in about 40 metres, 45 metres from the Hawthorne goal. Chance for the Hawks. They trail by three points. Ross Smith gets a kick out. Well done, Clarkson. Away for Larkin. Kick back near the wing, and the mark is taken by Cooper. Cooper for Hawthorne. Into the centre. Mark taken by Baxter. Well, you're speaking Still two North kicks Melbourne. from Hawthorne's goal. You're speaking North Melbourne's unsung heroes, Robbo. Ross Smith, once again, not a big name. Back in some great form and done a good job on the resting Rovers down there for North Melbourne. Again Baxter tonight. into the pocket. Here's Nugent against the boundary line. Nugent! Oh! Misses. Getting a little exciting up here. <laughs> and a little exciting down there. And I hope you folks at home can understand the stress that those boys are under in the coaching box. Ross Smith now. Let's settle down, folks. Ross Smith. Ten minutes to go. Kicks it beautifully. Out to half-back. Eschenko, no. Punched away by Hawthorne. Back to the wing. Chance here. Oh, Anthony Dwyer. Clean bowl. Archer a little kick. Condon goes after it. Handball. Oh, pull. Oh, oh right bang. Back. Anthony Rock into the action again. How is that boy? Let's have a look oh, from behind. Collins held. Ball to be won. Baxter. Oh, player on his own. Gowers. Marks, but can't play on. Rock's back there. Now he does. Back for Baxter. Baxter's high. Back oh. go the North Melbourne defenders and a terrific mark taken by Stevens. Yes, when it was so critical. He kicks it long. Back towards half for Roberts coming into the play. Play on Rock. B.O.G. Anthony Rock. Set half for the captain. Oh, captain Gary. 50 metres from home. 10-12 plays, 10-10. You couldn't get it much closer than that. Carey, he's kicked four. It is a magnificent kick, but it hits the post. And the turnover was res the responsibility of young Anthony Stevens, and he was up to the task. Clearly outpointed John Platten in the marking duel. I thought he was set up by a pretty poor kick from Darren Baxter after a, a woeful handball from Gowers. It was just, it went backwards. It was a nothing handball because the man on the mark for Gowers put the, put the pressure on Baxter. Jenke to the outer side. German high. Still on the 50 metre line, in fact, inside. Oh, oh what a mark! The captain again! Sandy, since Jared mentioned it, he's taken three Big absolutely marks. unbelievable marks. Here it is again. And that's why he's a match winner. That's why he is a champion already. And I'm not using that term at all loosely when you describe this, describe this bloke. All he needs is longevity in the game, and he'll go down as one of the greatest. This could be the match winner. Not too far from home to say that. This for number five. Going to be close. I think he's got it. inspires the Rouge. 11-13 plays 10-10.
We'll have another look at this, Mark. It warrants a couple of looks, and we'll see it again, I'm sure, on Sports World. Running in the same way as the football. Say no more. North fans delirious now. They've turned it round after Hawthorne opened up a lead. They've pegged it back and regained a nine-point lead. And good sides do that. Really good character. Well, they know what it's like to win the close ones. They're going to go into attack again. He's been fantastic. They've had a great battle, is Jenko and Lawrence. Game number 100. And if they can win tonight, what a great victory it'll be for him. Carey couldn't quite take it. Romero from a standing start. Down to the exciting McAdam. Belted away by Jenke. Cooper comes to his aid. Does the shepherding or tries to for Jenke. Gets the hand pass clear to Nugent. Nugent goes wide to the outer side. Pressure now on the Hawks. They've got a score. Crawford sees it over the line. Terrific archer. They throw absolutely everything at their opposition. And uh, his teammates realising the good work that he's done. Give him a pat on the back. And some encouragement. Lawrence. Yes, he got an effective tap out, but it really didn't clear the pack. The ball spills out. Rock falling over. Collins held, didn't have it. Clarkson was a tackler, but the umpire is letting play go on. Something happening down at the far end goal square. Fire but Keep the play going on, and that's what North are doing. Carey taken by Crow. Here come the Hawks. Collins quickly off the left foot. Hawthorne mark. Taken by Ben Allen, he's on centre wing, short kick is good, his vision okay, and the mark is taken by Hudson. Two kicks from Hawthorne's goal. Paul Hudson, just five possessions, a quiet night. Kick towards full forward, no mark taken. Ball now for Pritchard, shot for goal by Pritchard. What can he do? He can get a goal! That is a great kick! Second goal for Darren Pritchard. And it's back to just three points with six minutes left. And a great example of a team goal. Hudson gets the ball down. Watch for the shepherd. Blakey could have tried to grab the mark. There was the shepherd. Pritchard runs in a banana alley and delivers the same. Good goal. Back in the middle again. Back to a three-point margin. Who can win it out of the centre? Stevens has it held by Platt. And a change for North Melbourne. Romero coming off the ground. Quicker legs getting onto it. And Allison. It'll be Allison and Collins up in the forward pocket. Allison booted a goal in the second quarter. But North still lead. Stevens again. Collins may get back to this. Oh. He spilled another one. He's, I don't know what's happened, but he spilled a couple tonight. Carey tries to tap it back. McAdams in the thick of things. He threw it out. Got He's going to get a free kick. Allison wanted to scoot off, but it'll come back. McAdam has a free kick. Leg. I think that's what the umpire was indicating, that he may oh, have been leg. Instead of throw. Yeah, throw. Yeah. However, I guess the important thing from North's point of view is that this man has the football. He's kicked three, Sandy. He's been off target. was off target early, wasn't he? What's he got? Three, six. North at the moment, lead by three points. McAdam from 40 metres, started at left. And now lead by four points. One straight kick for either side could just about do it. But there's plenty of time left. Langford comes charging out. Gowers is his man. Not paid. Platten. Bounce to take place has been one of the good strengths of Hawthorne in the last couple of years since Gowers has returned from injury, and that's his marking from kickouts. Almost had that one. Lawrence gets a hand pass away. Rock overruns it. What's McAdam doing down there on centre wing? Kicks it high back towards the position where he should be. No mark taken. Lawrence had more time than he thought to take the kick. Pritchard on all fours somehow well, slaps it out beautifully to Jenke. Well played, Pritchard. Now a chance for Hawthorne. Baxter goes up towards Dunstall. Can't take the mark. Hudson has been quiet all night. He slips. He recovers. Was he tripped? He gives it to Platten. Platten's on a tight angle. He's 40 metres out. Centering kick. Up towards full forward. Plenty of flyers. And it's belted over the line. I think line. it's a free kick. It's a free, kick. It's a free kick to North. Crocker. 
against Darren Jarman. Flying. Put the knee in Crocker's back. Gave away the penalty. So he takes it from fullback. Goes towards the halfback flank. Yashenko is there at the back. The big man tries to get it out with an interesting looking hand pass. Baxter back pedals a little close to the boundary line. A rock. Gee, he's been busy tonight. He sees it over the line. 28 kicks and three hand passes. <laughs> Jared doesn't want to hear that. I'm wrapped to hear it. He's a great player. North Melbourne Young by player. four points. Down under four minutes. Larkin gets an effective kick away. Punched away by Cooper, but not really clear enough. And Anthony Dwyer was nearly a chance there. But a boundary throw-in will take place. It's going all the way down. Three and a half minutes left. The Hawks have won their last 13 encounters against the Roos. Well, you wonder whether that may be the incentive that North Melbourne need to carry them through. Eventually, they have to break the drought, you would think. But still, this game is there to be won. A goal to Hawthorne, and they could rest away the lead. Ischenko. Crawford held it, didn't have it. Surely a free kick to the Hawthorne Rover. He's just behind the wing, and he'll kick Hawthorne up to the 50-metre line. Marking contest. Crocker, no. Allison at the back. Kicks it in towards centre-half back. Falling, but giving away a free kick. Gowers on Roberts. By G, that was a critical a possession there. And it goes to North Melbourne. Roberts will go for Carey, surely. He's got a bit of a run at it. No, Langford gets in front. And it's mark. a mark to Langford. Oh, Not oh, paid, yeah. but Hawthorne will get clear. Lawrence, player on his own. Platten can go to the 50-metre line. Unselfishly, Dunstall. Two and a half minutes left. <laughs> what a game. What a game. Johnny Platten, he's gone over the top of Dunstall's head a couple of times this evening, looking for the goal. This time from 60 metres out, pinpoints the champion spearhead. Can he kick the goal? Dunstall five. Dunstall! It's hit the post! You wouldn't believe it! Oh, it is absolutely incredible. With two minutes left, north by three points. Smith to bring it back into play. Fisted down. German will see it over the line. North by three points. That may have been the luck you were talking about, Robbo. Not over yet. Platten at the bottom of the pack. Flicks it round his body. Dunstall, can he take a mark? He'll have another shot. He'll have another shot with just over a minute remaining. It could well be Looks the like last it. set shot at goal. He does look a little hurt, Sandy, getting up from the ground. Johnny Platten, you gave him a big rap as one of the greatest all-time rovers, and there wouldn't be too many dispute that, Robbo. And that's pure roving, getting the ball from the tap-in at a vital stage, getting it long, and Dunstall up to the task. Looks as if he's just winded himself. Yeah. Alan Joyce. <laughs> oh, to be a coach oh, of an A footy team. <laughs> well, he's OK, and uh, that's good to hear. But he's got a, a pretty important kick. <laughs> Let's nothing, not put nothing, too much pressure on him. Nothing riding on this one. Right. The situation is that North Melbourne at the moment leads by three points. But Jason Dunstall can change all that. He's on a tight angle, but he's only 25 metres out. He kicks for goal. Oh, he's a great kick for goal. The Hawkers hit the front. And time ticks away. And a number of players came in and gave Jason Dunstall the mandatory kiss on the cheek. But such is the professional he is. He said, get on with the business, boys. There's still time. We can still lose this one. This game isn't over yet. Good lesson for young players, though, the way he went back. He had a set routine before he kicked that goal, followed it through to the letter and put it through.
from the middle. Stevens' kick is partly smothered. Rock, he's been a terrier all night. But Hawthorne have the numbers across half-back. Collins marks. Collins will steady it down. He can go wide to Cooper. They need a turnover, North Melbourne. He can go the other side if he wants, and that's where he elects. Time continues to tick as Nugent kicks it wide. That's He's on out of bounds. They're on centre wing. This is the last play of the night. Crocker knows that. He wastes no time. Charging up towards half forward. Where's Captain Carey? Couldn't take the mark, but he recovers to give the hand pass away. North go charging down towards Dwyer. Dwyer is there. Can't mark. It's fisted away. Gowers towards the boundary line. Gowers, a clever kick. A very clever kick by Gowers. It's over. Hawthorne has broken through. North Melbourne's winning run has come to an end. And Hawthorne, look at those players. It's like they've won a grand final. They are jubilant. But the two sides deserve so much. They were both fantastic. Wasn't it a great game? An entertaining game. Once again, North Melbourne providing the goods. However, this time they weren't to prevail. Their third loss for the season, once again by less than a kick. They went down in round two by seven. In round eight to Adelaide by two points. And tonight against a jubilant Hawthorne by three points. Don Scott's on the, bound, on the ground with Jason Dunstall. Hey, Jason, well done. Thanks very much. A lot of pressure on you on that last kick. Yeah, I missed one just before that, which uh, made it a little bit worse, but I was just wrapping when it I went I've never through. shown you so much, so much emotion. Did you put yourself under a lot of pressure yourself? Your kicking hasn't been all that good tonight. No, I missed a couple I should have kicked, but uh, I just tried to kick through it. Good luck anyway. I'll let you get back Thanks, to the boys. <laughs> yes, they can celebrate, but full credit to both sides. Just a great game of football, and it's a shame there has to be a loser. But there is Hawthorne, a victorious. The final scoreline, 12-11, 83 North. 11-14-8.